Hey boosters, John here. Just got my club booster sidekick into a, an unboxing for you guys. And I apologize in advance. This is I'm terrible at video editing. It's not one of my strengths. So I'll, I'll try to get something together for you. Oop, in the tripod, sorry. But this is what we're all gonna expect here. So a cardboard box within a cardboard box. Let's see if I can get this out here. No branding except for there. White box there. Let's go ahead and hop this guy out of the box. comes off. This is the back. This is the front. This is what we got to work with here. So this will be exciting. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this on the cart soon let you guys see it. I'll do, I have a Caddy Tech Cruiser, Caddy Cruiser 1 Tour. It's a four, it's a quad wheel swivel. So I'll definitely get a video of this on it. The breakdown and setup. Sorry about the wobble. I'm trying to film this from my perspective so you guys can see. So here's a user guide. Should be pretty clear. We can go through that later. But it does have its own remote control, so it's supposed to replace your uh, current remote. And this one comes with an LED screen, which is pretty sweet, I have to say, even with battery indicators and stuff like that and uh, signals and all that. Uh, strength and whatnot. So, those, that's the manual for you there. Setting up of the course, blah 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 blah. And I'll definitely have to look through this. I'm just showing you guys the pages before you guys get them. Here we go. Important. Don't walk your cart into water. Yeah, you know, basics. Anyways, okay. Going in here, I assume you have the mount. Comes in this box. Good amount of padding. It's not going to get hurt. I just happen to live near the distribution center uh, in Canby, Oregon for the states, that is. So this is going to grip onto your handle and then this is going to latch it down just like the other latches on the cart. This, I'm assuming here, is for the post on the bottom, put that together. So this is the bottom here, charge, that's a USB-C port. So it's the complete oval. So it's, uh, if you have a USB micro or mini, that's not gonna work. Uh, but that goes in here, almost every, well, most people have USB-C uh, things. So I'll put that on later, but this should be going forward. And from there, you have a remote. That's also USB C. Sorry, focusing. Does come with a clip, which is nice. Sorry, Bob. It might take some of your business. If you know what I'm talking about, if you know, you know. The power button, well, that's, let's see here. These buttons, I'm not sure if you can see that. Lock and, I'm guessing function. Power here. Let's see if the power, power's on. Alfred, hey nice, that was quick. So every time I tap a button, the RC comes on, radio frequency. Gyro, you have a gyro button here. And then you have, I'm not sure what this one is here yet, but we'll, we'll get to that later, I'm sure. So the funk F button means follow, I'm guessing. Starting back. Obviously, I haven't started up or paired it yet, so let's see how this goes. It does come with two cables here. Nice. Both are USB-C, so you can charge the remote and the unit at the same time. You just have to have a dual USB-A. These are A ports. This is C ports. These obviously go back into the units here. 
and uh, these will go into your charging mechanisms or blocks. I'll show you a breakdown and setup later.